just what exactly is clipping? Well, today you're going to find out. I'm going to bust out this O scope of mine. Deck, little Fosgate amp, and I'm going to teach you all about clipping. What it is, what it isn't. So there's a lot of myths out there on how you're supposed to really set your gains, but today I'm going to show you the only true proper way to do it, and that involves using the O scope. I happen to have a handheld one sitting over here. I set up a table, I uh, got a couple amps, a couple speakers sitting out, and uh, within the next couple of videos, you should learn how to set your amps up properly and uh, have no sort of clipping at all. So first thing I want to do is show you a couple of products and then I'll go ahead and uh, explain to you exactly how to set your deck up first. Make sure it's not clipping. So check this out. As you can see, set this cool little table up. Got a Fosgate 10 sitting here, an older HX2. Got a 360.2 which I'm going to end up showing you how to set that up. That's a cool little product. Uh, got a couple of power six and a halfs right here. I'll use those to demonstrate the mids and highs being set up. Got a Punch 200 right here by Fosgate. Brand new 2009 edition. Sweet little lamp. Marford Fosgate T4000BD does close to 5000 watts at 14.4 volts of course we got the O scope this is a TPI scope plus 440 it's a digital meter and it's a handheld O scope I'll show you exactly what that does got the old school Pioneer flip out haven't used this in a while but still works you know, great for demo purposes there's the power six and a half these are not the ones I was giving away on the internet those were five and a quarters these are some other ones I had sitting around and of course we got the XS power D680 it's a really small battery but for demo purposes I'm going to show you what a powerhouse this little battery is I normally would run those big bad boys down there the D3100s But for demo purposes, we'll show you what just this little guy's capable of doing. Let's go dig in this pile of RCAs over here. See what all I got. Get it hooked up the rest of the way. Then we'll start this up. Alright, so the first part of this demonstration, we're just going to show you how to make sure that your deck isn't clipping. Because that's the first thing that you want to start with. If your deck is clipping, everything else behind it's going to clip too. So I've got an RCA hooked up to the sub out and to the front out. You can also do the rears as well, but we really only need to do the fronts and the sub for what we got going on here. And of course, this 360.2 disc. Even if you don't have a 360.2, this disc is still awesome because it's got everything you need right there on it. All right, a good place to start on this one would be 1,000 hertz minus 5 dB. That's for the mids and highs. And minus 10 dB at 40 hertz. And measure your subwoofer with that. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so since this deck doesn't really like to clip on track 10, which is minus 5 dB, we're going to put it at 0 dB track 7, 1000 hertz. Alright, the first thing I'm going to show you is what clipping looks like. So to do that, I'm going to put my probes on the mids and highs out. I'm on the fronts right now. So put your multimeter or your O-scope, it'll have to be an O-scope, on AC volts. I'm going to do track 7. That's a thousand hertz at 0 dB. Go ahead and shut the light off, Anthony. There you go. Alright, track 7, 1000 hertz, 0 dB. So as I turn this deck up, you will see this wave forming. See how the wave is nice and round? I'm still on volume 31. Still looks pretty good. It's not clipped off yet. Oh. 
I'd reset the track, put it on repeat if possible. I forgot how to do it on this deck, but it's okay. So anyways, I'm still turning it up. Volume 45, 46, 47. It's still not clipping off. All the way up to 58. So it's nice and round at 58. 59, 60. 61. Oh. Right. Alright, so it looks like you can take this deck all the way to volume 61 out of 62, which really isn't that bad. So, at 62, this is what clipping looks like. The top is squared off. That's not good. So you know you back it off just a little bit until you see it getting round again. Whoops. Yeah, you back it off a little so you see it round again. And then you know that you can turn the deck up that high without hurting anything. Next thing you're going to want to do, take those off of the mids and highs, or actually the fronts, and go ahead and attach them right back to the subwoofer out. Track 14, which is 40 hertz. Alright, and for the subwoofer, you're going to want to put that on a 40 hertz track. We'll do track 8 on the Rockford Fosgate setup disc. And as you can see, 40 hertz, right about 1 volt. And as I turn this up, the wave is changing. Hold on a second here. Got to back that up again. Alright. So I'm turning this up. Five volts, okay, right about 62, she looks like she clips just a little bit again. So it looks like the subs clip right around the same spot that the mids and highs do. So you're gonna wanna back that off a little until it gets round again. It looks good, right around 59 and 60. I would stick with 59 on that. From there, you wanna write down the volume that you start a clipping at and then you'll know not to exceed that when you're playing your system. So that is what clipping means. Without a no scope you don't know if you're clipping or not no matter what anybody tells you. Alright now that I've showed you what clipping is next video I'm going to show you how to properly set up your gains on your amp and your EQ processor whatever else you got in line. That's the only proper way to do it. It's the uh, best way to keep your speakers